to a lovely, beautiful day. Today is Friday the 29th of May. Can you believe we're nearly at the end of May already? This is so crazy. So today we are going to be working on a lovely cardiovascular workout incorporating strength as well. So you will need two cans um, or tins. If you've got light weights, that's brilliant. Use those instead. They are optional. You don't have to use those. You can be doing a good workout without those weights as well. So before we get going, just the usual folks, make sure you've rolled up any mats or trips or slips or hazards which are on the floor and make sure you're well enough to join me with exercise today. And it's really important that you look out for any symptoms, that you haven't got any coughs, colds or fevers and if you're feeling slightly unwell just leave it and then you can come back to me when you're feeling a bit better again. Do you have sensible clothes? <coughs> excuse me, trainers and things that you can really move around nice and easy and that will make your life a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to start with an easy walk for four and then we're going to walk it forward for four and then back again. So ready, here we go. Three, two, one, marching on the spot. So it's a nice easy march on the spot and then we're going to walk it forward for four. Good, so four, three, two, one and back. Two, three, four. Four, three, two, one, and forward. Good. Now you're going to keep this going. Keep your shoulders nice and low and relaxed. Pull your tummy muscles in and just have a nice good time. This is going to be a good workout for a Friday. Relax into it. If you do have any balance issues, hold on to the sideboard there. You can work your fingers up and that can just roll around with you. If you're happy, start to bring in the pace a bit more. <coughs> Excuse me, thanks. Good. And then take it forward. Two, three, four, and march. Good. And back. Two, three, four, and march. Excellent. Here we go. And four. Three, two, one, and march. Take it back. Four, three, two, one, and march. Good stuff. Again. Four, three, two, one, and march. Now, if you pick up your waist, lovely. This is level one, holding on to the side. Level two, you're going to be using both weights. So you're going to keep your feet marching into a bicep curl. Then you're going to turn your palms to face behind you and go for a front raise coming straight out. Good. So turn, bicep curl, down, turn, front raise. Good. Keep that going. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see my posture. That's it. So I'm turning my arms. Forearms come up right in front. Good. Elbows close into the body when you're doing a bicep curl. Then take the arms up to about shoulder height. Excellent. If you're holding onto the side with one hand, do four repetitions and change it onto the other side. Good. Steady breath. That's it. Really start to squeeze those biceps as you're coming up into that bicep curl. Brilliant. Nice and steady. Let's put the weights down. And we're going to go for an easy side tap. So it's a tap and in. Good. Now again, if you want to hold on to the side, just turn to face your sideboard there. If you're happy to do it without holding on, you can place your hands onto your hips for level two. And then we're going to work you up to level three. We're going to reach across the body and imagine that we're pulling in a rope to the side. So we're getting your obliques and your core working as well. Good. So keep it to a level that suits you. Take the pace to a level where you can have a good conversation. If you need to work a bit harder, you're going to stretch a bit more and do a little bit more effort going through. Excellent. Now if you want to take it a little bit more, you can add in a lift above the head. And that will get the heart rate more raising a little bit higher there. Good. So I'm going to take it back over to here. Super, and then I'm going to show you into our next exercise. Grab hold of your weights, we're into an upright row, roll the shoulders back and down. Now your weights come up to chest height and your elbows are out. Then you're going to slowly lower the weights down and come straight up for a lateral raise. That's it, well done. So we're going to go for an upright row, then lower, then out into a lateral raise. Good, nice and steady. Upright row, and then lower, and then out into a lateral raise. Brilliant, keep that going. So if I'm at level one, I'm close to my sideboard here, and I can hold on to the side 
if I feel I need to. And just do four repetitions with each arm and then swap the weight over. Good. If you're in the middle, you're going to be doing the same for level two and level three. Good today. Fantastic. Steady breath and then put the weights down to the side. Brilliant. We're going for a lunge back now. So level one, holding onto the side, going for a tap behind. Now just work with what your body and your hips allow you to do. This is, could be enough for you. If you want to work it a little bit more in, please do so. Now level two, you're going to start to put your hands onto your um, hips and go for a bigger step back. Level three, you're going to add the arms in. Good. I'm going to pick the pace up just by a little bit because we need to work you. We need to get that heart rate going. Super. Now if you watch my heel, it doesn't hit the floor as I'm lunging back. So I keep my heel up. I'm not trying to push my heel down. This is not a stretch. It's a cardiovascular move. Good stuff. Keep that going. This is level three. Maybe you want to bring it up for two arms. That's fine. Go for two. Or single. Or you can keep it with just the hands. Or you can hold on. Well done. In for a press up onto the side. Relax the shoulders. Level one. Soft knees. Pivot forward from the waist. And you're just going to press towards your bench and coming up. Good. Nice, easy press. Level two, you're going to straighten out your legs, keep your heels to the floor this time, and press to where your body allows you to, and come back up. Level three, you're raising high up, so your heels are off the floor. Now what you need to aim to do is keep that really nice long straight line all the way through the body. Try and prevent your back from arching forward or coming into an arch up on the top of the back there. Good, keep that going nice and steady, breathing all the way through. If it gets too tough, stop, have a couple of heel pumps and then go back for it again. You've got this guys, you can do it. Come on, let's strengthen those arms. Well done. Now we're going to go for a, a great bar. So I'm going to show you level one, holding on to the side. It's a tap behind, tap together, march, two, three, four, tap, behind, tap, together, march, two, three, four, level two, I'm going to face you, tap, behind, tap, together, heel raise, heel raise, tap, behind, together, heel raise, heel raise, good, tap, behind, tap, together, level three, pulling down, tap, behind, tap, together, level three, pulling down, Tap behind, tap together, level three, pulling down, good. That's it. And you can increase your pace if you wish. Steady breath. Well done. Hold on to the side if you need to. If the calf raises, the heel raises, feel a little bit scary, just walk it on the spot just here. Well done. Wide squat. So level one, take your feet up nice and wide, much wider then your shoulders, really wide. Easy squat down and up. You want your feet to about 45 degrees, pushing your bottom back and you've got the support there. Level two, you're going to come into the middle and you're just going to bring your weights down in between. Lovely. So my knees are going slightly towards my toes, but they're not going right over. It's all about pushing my bottom back. Now level three, you're going to come back to the sideboard pop your weights down, lift up your heels and squat. Ooh! Now you're going to really feel this one, this is really different. You're actually really activating the inner thigh as well as doing the glutes and the outer part of the legs. This is an all round a really good one. Keep going if you can. Come on, we can do this. Level three, good and up, well done. Level one, hamstring curl, holding on to the side there. Core in nice and strong. Level two, you're just going to add in a single arm. Good. Single arm pull. Level three, you've got both arms and you're pulling in. As you're pulling, I want you to think about activating between the shoulder blades. So you're cracking a nut between the shoulder blades there. Good, steady breath. Doing really well, folks. Pick up the pace if you want to. If you do want to lift it off the ground, great. You can come into this if you wish. Or we can keep it nice and steady and low. 
Remember, this is level one, key to the right level for you. It's not a competition, this is about you and your body will grow and strengthen over time. So don't rush these things. <laughs> Good, get ready because we're going to do a bent over row coming up, so you will need your weights again. Good, so holding on to your weight, I'm going to show you level one first. I'm holding on to the side, I've got one weight. Up forward, then you're going to pivot forward from the waist, from the hip, and then you're going to squeeze elbow into the body and up and down. This is level one, you're going to do four repetitions here. Level two, you're going to use both hands together at the same time. Can you see how the hands are actually on my thighs and it's like I'm shaving the top of my thighs there? Now I know many of you have many <laughs> never shaved your thighs before, but just imagine you've got that close contact with the weight skimming up and down the top of the thigh. Now level three, you really need to activate. Imagine you've got that nut in between the shoulder blades and you're really cracking that nut. Good, keep that back strong. Keep it really strong. Tummy muscles in. Activity well done, and you've made it all the way through 10 minutes. My goodness, just whizzes by. So nice, easy heel pump, relax the shoulders. Good, and let's cool it down. Super stuff, walk it out. Lovely, really nice. Okay, so nice wide stance. We're going to turn one toe up to 45 degrees, then you're going to slightly come over for a bend on the side. Hold on to the side there, face your side board if you need to. Feel a stretch starting to come on, in the, on the inner thigh. If you can't feel that stretch, take a bigger stride forward. Good. Now if you notice my knee's going towards my toe, and I can really feel it here. We're going to reach up and over. Good. Steady breath. Feel that stretch elongating all the way down. Now I'd like you to turn towards your side of your chair and feel that stretch moving around the body. So I was in this position before and all I've done is I've turned my body so I'm looking forward down through my feet. Good, now reach up and over. Well done. Bring that foot in, take the other toe out and again, feel that lovely stretch onto the inner thigh. Make sure you're in this position here, if this feels safer for you. Safety is paramount, so that's got to come first with anything that you're doing. Good. Now if you want to keep your holding onto the side, please do so. And then you're going to reach over the top, feel that stretch elongating down. Now I'm going to turn to face you so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, lovely. And then we're going to turn and look straight ahead. Good, now you should feel that coming down the back a little bit more. And it's really important to get your body nice and flexible. Well done. Now bring your feet in just by a tad and we're going to stop here. We're going to take a breath in. As you breathe in, bend the knees. Breath in and breathe out. Breath in and breathe out. Now when you breathe out, you're just going to bring your hands onto your tops of your thighs and just let your head... Just sink down. Imagine that you've got a lovely cup and you're pouring out the water down to the floor. Now you're going to slowly come forward to where it feels comfortable for you and then just gently bring your body up, stacking the spine vertebrae by vertebrae at the top. Good. Now I'm going to show you to the sideboard. So again, let's do that again. Coming down, let the head sink down and then arch out through the back. Upper back stretch and then slowly come up. Stacking up the vertebrae by vertebrae. Well done, guys. Good. Now bring your feet in together. Super stuff. We're going to take one stride back with one leg. Bend your front knee, both feet facing forward if you can, and then push the back heel flat into the floor. If the stretch feels too strong, bring the leg in slightly. Good. So you should be feeling a stretch, but there should be no pain. So if you're suffering from any pain, stop what you're doing immediately and try and create, uh, correct it. Correct it. Um, if it's still feeling discomfort, just leave it out. Well done. Okay, so we're going to bring that leg in and then lift the back heel and tilt the pelvis forward for a hip flexor stretch. Good. Hold it here if you wish. If you want to bring it up with me, have a go holding on to your trousers 
or onto your ankle, soft supporting knee. So you're feeling the front of thigh stretch there. Good, steady breath. That's it, looking straight over your fingertips there. Well done, and put the foot down. So we're going to bend both the knees, push the bottom back, straighten out this leg in front and feel a lovely stretch coming down the back of the hamstring. Imagine that you've got a golden thread lifting your tailbone, your coccyx, up to the ceiling and that will increase that stretch down here. Hold on to the side if you need to. Good, and then slowly come back up. Brilliant. Nice easy heel pump. Let's get the blood flowing a little bit again. Super, and let's try that onto the other side. So we're going to take a big stride back with the leg that you haven't stretched. Bend your front knee, keep the back heel straight and flat down to the floor. Now, as with all of these exercises that we do and the stretches, you know, I've said this time and time again, but I do really want to reiterate this. It's your joints. Everybody has a different joint and it works slightly differently. And the older we get, um, they slightly develop in a different way. You can get more calcification around the bone structure and that can cause your joints to kind of malform slightly. So when I'm saying keep your feet facing forward and your joint is saying, that's not working for me, it's really hurting, you've got to make it so it's not hurting for you. So if you know that your, your knees slightly go out, maybe bring your toe out slightly with it. Be sensible with everything that you're doing. Good stuff. Well done. Okay, bring that leg back in, lift the back heel off the floor, and then tilt the pelvis forward. Feel a lovely hip flexor stretch on this side. Good. Steady breath and breathe out. Well done. Okay, bring the leg up behind you, holding onto your trousers or onto the ankle. Soft supporting knee there. Feel that stretch onto the front of the thigh. Hold it here. Or you can place your hand in front for a little bit of support. Good and then release it down. Now bend both the knees, push the bottom back and straighten up the other leg in front of you. I'm going to turn to face the front so you can see me this, at this angle. Give a steady breath, feeling that stretch running down the back of the thigh and then slowly come back up. Good, now we're going to finish with some lovely breathing. What I'd like you to do here is with your right hand, you're going to scoop it diagonally across the room. And when you do that, you're going to breathe in through the nose, and then you're going to relax and come out and breathe out through pursed lips. Then you're going to try it onto the other side. Breath in, and breath out. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. Now you're going to roll the shoulders forward, and then expand out through the lungs. Good. Roll the shoulders forward and expand, growing in height with the arms. Shoulders forward and expand. Shoulders forward and expand. Last one. Forward and expand. Reach, 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 and down and shake it out. Well done, guys. Fantastic work. Thank you for joining me today. It's been great to have you. So that was our cardio and strength session. And I shall see you guys all on Monday, Monday morning for another live session there. Before we go, I would just like to give you a quote of the day. So this quote is by Tim Ron and it says, Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. And I just thought that was really, you know, hitting a, a nerve with me because it's a bit like a tortoise, you live in your shell. And that's what we're doing, we live in our body. So we've really got to take care of what we're putting in and what we're putting out and how we're maintaining all of our structure. So I want to give you guys a really massive thumbs up because you are on that journey. You are taking care of yourself, so well done. Keep up the good work, you're doing absolutely ace. And before we go, I'm just going to uh, read out some chats that we've got here today. And we've got Jackie, thank you. And we've got Pat from Birmingham, hello, good morning. And good morning, Sue and Pete, good morning. And Wendy and Sue from London, good morning. Vivian, good morning. Anthony, um, good morning. <laughs> that just made me laugh, Nancy, I just saw your comments. 
<laughs> Maybe not, because you only shave your face. Well, I'm quite pleased about that. <laughs> Denise, good morning. Uh, Dorothy, Margaret and Louise, good morning. Jenny from Dublin, good morning. Viv and Clive, good morning. Eileen, good morning. John and Jan, good morning. And we've got Heather from Austria, so good morning to you. And Anne and Ray, good morning. Derek and Veronica, good morning. Uh, Catherine, good morning. And I think, who else have we got here? Um, that may be it. Pete and Sue, good morning. Brilliant, guys. Thank you. So, morning all. And to those of you who are just watching too, take care. Have a great weekend. Keep safe. Keep well. The virus is still out there. And please, please, please be sensible. Okay, love you all. See you soon.